Hey guys, it's Sean from EasyIrrigationRepair.com. Today, we're installing isolators. It's super simple, so let's get started. Today, we're installing a couple of Gen 2 ratios on a single sprinkler system. We'll need one isolator per controller, so we'll be installing two of those as well today. If we were to just connect these controllers together without isolator, we would have interconnection issues. This happens when two or more controllers try to operate the same pump, master valve, or share a valve common. Polarity and phasing problems, as well as feedback from one controller into the other, will blow fuses, activate false start times, or even worse, including blowing your controllers. Isolator is the simplest way to protect your controllers while allowing all controllers to work together. Today I will show you two different ways to install isolator, depending on your system. Install A will solve the problem of two controllers using the same pump or master valve, and install B will solve the problem of two controllers using the same valve common. Isolator can be mounted using the included screws for wall mounting, or Velcro for mounting inside a weatherproof controller enclosure. Here's a little pro tip for you. Instead of pulling the slug straight off, twist it to give you a nice tight group of wire. This will make them way easier to install into terminals. In this install, both of these controllers will be using the same pump start relay. Even though we have a separate hot and common running to our pump start, they become interconnected once we connect both controllers. Isolator is a very simple way to protect your controllers for the life of the system. Let's start by connecting the white wire of the black and white pair. It's going to install in one of the common terminals. The ratios have a couple to choose from and are connected internally, so any of them will work for your install. The black wire of the black and white pair is going to install in the master valve terminal. This will provide the signal to the isolator once the controller has started. Let's go ahead and do the same install for our second controller. White will connect to the common, and black connects to our master valve terminal. Note that the power for the pump start or master valve will run in the black and white wires of the isolator and will come out the red and white pair. The isolator only allows power to flow this direction. If it senses power coming in the red and white pair, it will lock out. This is how it protects its controller from damage. There is a wire color guide on the label for quick reference if you need it. Okay, now that we have the controller side installed, let's connect to our pumper master valve circuit. Let's connect the white wires of the red and white pairs from each isolator along with the common wire running to our pumper master valve. And now let's connect the red wires of the red and white pairs along with the hot wire that's running to our pumper master valve. And you're done! Once installed, Isolator will automatically protect your controllers every time they water. No additional programming or maintenance is required. If you've not already done so, remember to make sure your master valve is set to on. With the ratios, you can do this in the initial setup or go back into the settings to make this change later. In this install, both of these controllers are using the same field common for all the valves. If we were to just connect the commons directly to the controllers, this would cause one controller to feed back into the other, causing major issues or complete controller failure. This is especially true if the controllers are out of phase with each other. Let's start by connecting the white wire of the black and white pair. It's going to install in one of the common terminals. The ratios have a couple to choose from and are connected internally, so any of them will work for your install. The black wire of the black and white pair is going to install in the master valve terminal. This will provide the signal to the isolator once the controller has started. Let's go ahead and do the same install for our second controller. White will connect to the common, and black connects to our master valve terminal. Note that we're still using the master valve terminal, even though we're not actually using a master valve. This terminal provides the isolator with a signal to let it know when the controller is on and needs to water. When one controller waters, it will send power to its isolator and lock into the circuit. When the second controller's isolator senses that power in the circuit, it will lock its controller out to protect it. 
Now that we have the controller side connected, let's connect the white wires of the red and white pair of both isolators and the field common for all of our valves together. and then connect the reds of the red and white pair together. The power from the master valve terminal will run in the black wire of the isolator and will come out the red wire. These red wires are connected so they can automatically signal the other isolators to let them know when it's time to water or lock out its controller to protect it. It's that easy. Once installed, isolator will automatically protect your controllers every time they water. No additional programming or maintenance is required. If you've not already done so, remember to make sure your master valve is set to on with the ratios, you can do this in the initial setup or go back into the settings to make this change later. 